we will hear about uh, about the different sleep disorders and what has changed since the time of our ancestors and how we can improve on them. Snoring, uh, sleep apnea, and sudden jerking will also be discussed by our speaker and how they can be resolved. Without further ado, let us now start our program, our, I mean this part of our program, by welcoming our speaker, Dr. Charles Edward Florendo. Introduction. Thank Dr. you very much. Yes. Introduce. Dr. Charles Edward Florendo is the first and only Southeast Asian physician certified in the Boteco method. His passion for medicine showed from an early age and he grew up to become a renowned doctor for developing his own practice called the Breathing Cup, where he has been successfully helping patients to lose body fat, gain weight, and confidence with his breathing methods. I think uh, some patients will be, uh, our participants are should uh, look into this. He is the author of the books, how to lose weight without exercise, using the breathing slim and lean integrative method, and learning how to breathe. Your life-changing hack starts here. His practice is mainly sustained by understanding his patient's breathing rhythms and implementing controlled breathing sessions to improve their overall health and weight loss journey. A graduate of UST, he is a recipient of the pioneering awards from the Philippine Academy of Family Physicians, certified by Boteco Breathing Association in the UK, chief of clinics in one of the oldest hospitals in the Philippines, the Mary Charles General Hospital, and is now directing his efforts as a writer and author to teach his method to a wider audience. So here is now. Dr. Charles, take it away. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Uh, this uh, beautiful uh, introduction. And uh, I want to thank you for the, for the chance to, uh, for me to talk for, to, with everyone here. And thank you to all our participants. You have 29 in the room. Thank you for uh, listening, uh, waking, waiting for us this far. Now. So my discussion today is how to sleep like a baby, a solutions-based uh, discussion. You know, who among you guys, pag nakita ng baby na ganito, sino sa inyong naiingit sa tulog ng baby? Type me in the chat box. Me in the chat box. Let's see, sino naiingit pag ganyan? Sino naiingit pag ganyan? Uh, let's see, sino? Meron ba? Meron ba? Okay, may nagsulat. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Anybody? Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, one that's yes. Marianne says, Marquez says, yes. So thank you, no? So marami, marami, no? Kasi lots of us, we don't feel this breathing or the sleeping just like the baby does. So what is sleep to all of us? You know, all of us has been sleeping since we were born. So I don't really need to describe what sleep should be, no? But we do know that uh, when you get to sleep, it will reset your mind, it releases growth hormones, and it allows you to dream. Yung sabi ni uh, Sir, uh, Sir Juan Miguel kanina, no? Uh, when we retire, it's uh, we'll be we'll be resting all the time. We won't be working. It's another we will be able to dream. And right now, palang let's dream for our retirement. And you cannot dream if you cannot sleep. You know, I'm not galing na speaker di Doctor Mr. Juan kanina. It's hard to it's hard to be a, a speaker right after him because you know the expectations really high. So get it. Who among you here wants to dream? Type dream in the chat box. Dream, dream, dream. Let's see, let's see. Dream. Sino gusto managinip when they're asleep? Dream, dream. Yeah, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Dr. Adelina. Man, when you don't have enough sleep, uh, you tend to have, you become very moody. And you see a lot of the people with behavioral problems, a lot of them, they, they have poor sleep. Those who have anxiety, no? Uh, they, they have poor sleep. Those with, uh, if you have poor sleep, your immune system will weaken. Do you know that 30% of people who have poor sleep uh, are at high risk for overweight and obesity? Or balik na yata, 30% higher risk for obesity and overweight for people who don't have poor sleep, yan, who have poor sleep. And there's also a tendency to have short stature. Unfortunately, adults na tayo, so hindi na tayo tatangkad, even if you sleep. Do you know, na a lot of us think na, Oi, Doc, as soon as I go to bed, pag higa akong ganyan, nakakatulog na ako kaagad. Do you know that's a sign of deep sleep deprivation? 
<laughs> Sinong, that's actually a sign of sleep deprivation. Kung pagbaksak mo sa bed, tulog ka kaagad. So that's actually a sleep disorder already. Type me kung sinong uh, may kilalang ganun. As soon as they fall on the bed, they fall asleep. Type me. Me, 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 me. me. That's actually a sign of sleep deprivation. No? Okay, so that, what we're going to talk about here no, are sleeping problems. Do any of you have these problems? Unable to sleep? No insomnia? Keep waking up prematurely? You wake up feeling unrested or with symptoms like barado ilong mo o kaya ano ka, may bakati mata mo, ganyan. O kaya maasim si kumura mo pag gagising mo or you have back pains. Who among you have nightmares? Who among you here feels sleepy all day or prematurely feels sleepy or is hard to wake up? Type me. Me, me, me in the chat box. Me, 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 me. Hindi ko pa sinama dito yung biglang tulog as soon as you lie down. That's actually a sign of sleep deprivation. Type me. Me, 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 me. Kung may kilala kayong ganito, Unable to sleep, keeps waking up prematurely, like 3 in the morning, bigla nagigising, they don't know why. Ganyan, you wake up feeling unrested or with symptoms because I will tell you today how we're going to resolve these problems. Yes, so that's the most exciting part. You know, the way we look at this is we can look at our ancestors. Our ancestors uh, tells us how our body had evolved over time. Because a long time ago, our body, uh, our body has essentially remained the same over the centuries. But our environment, the technology, lots of things has changed, and lots of these uh, changes, a lot of these changes, is disrupting the way we sleep. So number one, no, our ancestors, ancestors did not make use of man-made chemicals. They were surrounded by natural stuff. Eh, ngayon, paano na tayo? Ngayon. Uh, lahat na lang ng cleaners mo, artificial coloring, artificial uh, pabango, artificial na papabula, and all of these are going to cause problems for you. I remember when I got married, I stayed in a hotel in uh, Baguio. That's where I got married. And those sa hotel na yon, they use so much, um, they use a lot. Talagang binuhusan nila ng fabric conditioner yung ano. Yung binuhusan nalang fabric conditioner yung mga fabrics nila doon. Ang bango-bango, but I couldn't sleep because of all the smell. And the artificial scents of these things, they will cause you to disrupt your sleep. So if you want, uh, there are, uh, by the way, I just downloaded these pictures. I'm not endorsing any of these brands, but you do have ecologically uh, safer, uh, environmentally safer uh, alternatives. They're made of natural products. Mga natural na pabango, for instance, ang ginamit nila or walang pabango. And these things won't have those disruptive uh, tendencies. In fact, some of these chemicals that are used for uh, these uh, tendencies, they can uh, these uh, uh, these uh, wash at ito mga pang panghugas nyo, paninis nyo. A lot of them actually disrupt a lot of endocrine uh, processes in your body. No, so it's it's a lot more. So it's not just for the environment; it's also for your sleep that you switch to products that have natural uh, natural ingredients with them. So who likes this solution? Type yes. Type yes, 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 if you like this kind of solution. Okay, ngayon, I'm going to get another one is that our ancestors got a lot of sun. When they wake up, they would walk around and they would get a lot of sun and all that. What are these uh, sun exposures nga ba to? Well, when you get exposed to sunlight, your skin, una, your eyes, get, the, the light goes into your eyes and this triggers your circadian rhythm. It will tell your body, wait, it's time to wake up. And also, when the sun hits your skin, your skin will produce vitamin D. And this will cause you to wake up. No? And then, at night, when there's no more sun, there's no more vitamin D produced, your body will produce more melatonin. So this is the normal way our body produces it. You know, your, your, uh, our, uh, one of the ways that our body regulates our sleep. Vitamin D in the morning and melatonin at night. Now, our problem here is, uh, if you don't get a lot of vitamin or sunlight, ngayon, we're spending all the time indoors. And even if you go outdoors, because of all the buildings in the city, we don't get sunlight. No? Uh, and when we're working, we're always indoors. Oh, I haven't gone out today, the entire day. No? So I didn't get any sunlight. So what, you could, what we could do is we could supplement with vitamin D and or melatonin. Melatonin at night, vitamin D in the morning. But personally, I prefer the vitamin D first before I go to melatonin. And the vitamin D, you can actually compute for this. There is a test called the vitamin D assay and then we can compute how much vitamin D you will lack and how much um, uh, you, could, you should be given. No? So, if you like this, you can type yes in the chat box if you'd like this one. 
Now, um, our ancestors only used natural sources of light. Oh, paano ba? Paano yung mga night duty? Doc, yung mga night duties. I've had a lot of uh, people who work in the BPO. And then the BPO, after about a year after they come in the BPO, that's when they start having problems. No? Uh, what we can do is we can give them vitamin D at night and then melatonin in the morning. Baliktad. Baliktad. So we're going to trick their body to think that they're having sunlight at night. Yeah, so this is a biohacking technique. Uh, we're going to trick them. So yeah, so but you can use the vitamin D and melatonin. You have to time it properly. You don't just take it anytime. No? Okay, now our ancestors only used uh, or only used natural sources of light. They didn't have light bulbs. They did have fire, but no light bulbs. No? So right now, we have a problem with all these monitors and cell phones. Do you know these monitors and cell phones? Their light is different. They flicker and they have a lot of blue color on them. So this is why who among you here no, have experienced this? You're tired, you're sleepy, so you try to pray a long prayer. A rosary, okay, you do meditation or you do Bible study or something. You pray a long prayer. Makakatulog kayo. You'll be very sleepy, makakatulog kayo. But if you have like, you, you're, you know, you're sleepy and you say, Uy, I better check kung meron akong, ano, baka may message ako mula sa Mac manager ni China, ng China Box, si Rachel. Pag silip mong ganyan, Next thing you know, you'll be in a one hour and 30 minutes later, you're still browsing through Facebook. Gising na gising ka, going through Facebook. Just a while ago, antok na antok ka, but since you started browsing through your phone, bigla kang you find yourself unable to sleep one hour and 30 minutes later. Sinong guilty na to? Type me in the chat box. Me, me, ah, nag-raise ng hand si Dr. Andelina. Type me in the chat box. Sinong guilty na to? Naka-experience na to? Type me, 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 me. Ayan, Evita has mentioned this. One of the reasons for this is that the light in your from your cell phone and from your screen wakes you up. Iba yung kulay niya and then the flicker siya ng malakas. So what you need to do, no? Pag when you're experience uh pag natamaan ka niyan, yung light yung blue light niya, the flickering light, it will trigger the fight or flight response and it will wake you up. So, you know, if you really want to sleep well, you should keep away from your monitors and cell phones at least one hour before sleeping. At least one hour. Yung ibang doctors mas mahaba pa four hours, no? Kasi the longer the better. Remember, these are not natural sources of light, no? So these are uh, and there's another one. It, it's uh, called blue light. Uh, this one is not um, exactly uh, accepted by all medical practitioners yet. Uh, though this is this is thing called blue light, and blue light is found in sunlight. So when your eyes get exposed to blue light, it wakes you up. Ngayon, if you notice, after sunset, ano mang kulay ng, ng sun pag sunset? Di ba pula? Pula siya. Oo. So, pag pula, it removes, wala na siyang blue light. And at night, normally, dapat walang blue light. And for, so, what you can do is you can turn on, if you have windows, you turn on itong night light. You go to display and you turn on the night light. When you turn it on, you'll notice magiging yellow yung screen ninyo. You guys can try it out right now for those of you who have uh, who have uh, windows. Magi magiging yellow yan. Tinatanggal nila yung blue, yung blue light. But it's not that good, no? And then Android also has that. You just click on uh, night light something and then magiging yan. Kaya Android ko dilaw eh. Pagdating ng gabi, dilaw na yung color niya. But it's not that good, actually. One thing you could use is you could use an anti-blue light uh, glasses. Now, the best one, if you really want to sleep, are the red colored ones. Because the red colored ones are the ones that are able to remove blue light 100%. Etong ganito, yung clear, it only removes about 10 to 20%. So, meron pa rin na If you want to really get sleep, you take your red glasses, the one hour before sleeping. So, you could try it out. Now, so, um, this one, they say that this is for daytime if you're just using your computer, but for at night time, you change to this one. Yung iba, they say uh, uh, at, ano, at sunset. Kasi sunset nagiging red ang color ng sky. So that's the physiology behind it. Okay, now another one is our ancestors slept in complete darkness. Remember, walang bumbilya noon. So at night, complete darkness yan. And ito pa nga, nasa loob ng cage. Sa loob ng cage sila. So it was complete darkness. So how do you sleep? Uh, when it's completely dark, your body will shut down. Your eyes, there's no, no snow light coming in. Your body will know how to sleep, no? Our problem is, uh, nowadays, is there's a lot of light entering our eyes even when we sleep it. Well, even when we close it pala. Even when we close our eyes. Try nyo to, try nyo to. Okay, uh, uh, you close your eyes. Close your eyes, everybody. Close your eyes. Oh, yan ha. Ngayon, if you cover your eyes with both hands, yan, hindi ba dumidilim? Dumidilim, di ba? Oh, di ba? You cover your eyes. You close, tapos pag tinakman mo, it becomes even darker. Kasi even when you close your eyes, there's light coming into your eyes. 
And this is actually one reason why we wake up in the morning. In the morning, pag uh, pag akit ng araw, light will enter our eyes even if takasara siya. And that's what, what wakes us up. Ang problem ngayon, with all the street lights and all the lighting in the house, mas maliwanag pa sa loob ng bahay natin kaysa sa gabi, sa gabi kaysa umaga. Sino nakapansin nito? Mas ma, uh, mas maaga, mas mag, mas ma bright pa sa, uh, sa sa kwarto nila sa gabi, di ba? So your body now doesn't know whether it's nighttime or daytime. So this is one reason why we're getting a lot of insomnia now. So uh, that's, this is one of the problems. And even if you turn off all your lights, there's still lights coming from outside. So what you need to do, you first phase one is you could put on dark blackout curtains. Now the best blackout curtains. Uh, marami na bibili but they're cheap. The, the best one no? is yung may tela siya. May tela. Tapos yung blackout curtain nakadikit sa pe- tela na yon. And then there's another tela na nakadikit doon. Naka-sandwich yung blackout doon sa dalawang tela. So, uh, these are the very good ones. And when you go to hotels, they are using this kind. Hotels and uh, and resorts. Kaya, when you go to good hotels, talagang when you close it, if you go to mga five-star, it's really dark yung curtains nila. Kasi, they can really turn off all the lights, no? The other one is you can put on an eye mask. So this is one of the best eye masks I've seen around. Uh, super conductive three-in-one eye mask. So it's really good uh, for those may mga iba may migraine, uh, yung iba may uh, eye bags na wala daw with this. Uh, I had one person tell me yung floaters na wala daw with this type of eye mask. So um, floaters wala siyang ano eh. Wala, in Western medicine, we don't have any med- medicine for it. Uh, but so, no, wala do using this. So if you're interested, this is very interesting to use. Uh, mga ganitong eye mask na. So you could use this when you sleep. You put on black curtains, blackout curtains, and eye masks na. Okay. Now our ancestors also went to bed hungry. Can you imagine? Nung time nila, walang refrigerator, walang fast food. So you, if they have to eat, they have to hunt for their food, de ba? Eh, di ka naman makakahunt sa gabi, de ba? So they only hunt in the morning, and then walang ref. So after nila mag-hunt, makata yung yung animal, mag, mag-pick ng fruits, lulutuin nila yan, kakainin nila yan, and then hindi nila masustore kasi wala silang ref. So uh, they're only eating, siguro uh, morning lang sila kumakain or at most twice a day, they don't have as much meals. And yung at night, they just go to sleep hungry. no? So what is the problem now? Nowadays, we go to bed we eat midnight snack. Minsan meron tayong dinner, may midnight snack. Meron pang iba dito, pre, pre-midnight snack. 10 o'clock meron, midnight meron pa. Sobra-sobra na kinakain natin. Ano bang problem na to? When you go to sleep, your body shuts down. All the parts of your body is going to shut down and rest. If your uh, body, uh, if, your, if your stomach has food in your stomach, in your, uh, has food in the stomach, hindi makakashut down yung katawan mo because it's continuously working. So you get poor digestion and you get poor sleep. Something, no? So what you need to do, no? Uh, iba pa, nagko-coffee pa sa gabi. You know, do you guys know bakit inaantok ang isang tao after eating or after taking sugary foods? No? One of the byproducts of the uh, glucose metabolism is, is a product called adenosine. Adenosine, and that's what makes you sleepy. When you drink coffee, aden- the coffee blocks the effects of adenosine. It will block the receptor sites, so hindi makakapasok yung adenosine no sa receptor site ng cells, and therefore, you don't get the sleepiness. So, if you drink coffee at night, it's it's going to keep you awake also. Right? So, uh, and then it's not just coffee. Uh, yung caffeine, uh, it's also found in a lot of other drinks, particularly, oh, by the way, I'm not endorsing any of these products. Um, just to show you guys, a lot of the uh, caffeine, uh, a lot of the soft drinks have caffeine and a lot of the energy drinks. In fact, just a few days ago, we celebrated the birthday of my brother-in-law and then they had Mountain Dew on the table. And I told them, do you know that Mountain Dew has one of the strongest caffeine uh, in among the... Uh, no, so I compared it to Mirinda. So they had Mirinda, they had Mountain Dew. And then I showed them side by side the ingredients. In Mountain Dew, you read the ingredients and you will find caffeine. Caffeine written in the ingredients of Mountain Dew. Mirinda doesn't. So just to show you that they really add caffeine to these uh, to these uh, drinks, especially the lemon sodas to keep you awake at night. So secret then to some of the medical students, just to let you know, many medical students would drink particularly uh, this soda, the ones on the bottom, to keep them awake at night when they're studying. Okay, so what you have to do is you have to avoid uh, stuff that has a lot of caffeine before you sleep. Also, dark tea has and power drinks now so dark teas also have a lot of caffeine before you drink you have to avoid this then sleep 
uh, never sleep with a full stomach. You have to wait at least two hours after eating before you sleep. So, is this uh, clear? Who likes uh, who likes the suggestion? Type me in the chat box if you if it resonates with you. No, just wait and then. Uh, by the way, uh, um, also I've experienced some with some of my patients, but to prevent them from snoring, good on them. You just uh, in lessen the, the amount of food that you eat at night. No. Now, our ancestors also went to sleep at night time. They didn't sleep so much. It's what in the morning. It was always at night. Kasi nga naman, gabi, di ba? It's dark. Ano mang gagawin mo at night? Nothing else but sleep. Now, our problem is now, a lot of us are in night night shift or graveyard shifts. Kami, pati kami mga doctor. Kami mga doctor, uh, we've been always on nighttime shifts. About 32 hours kami mag-duty. And the problem here is that already scientifically, uh, we've had many studies that have shown that if you're doing nighttime duty, the probiotics in your stomach change. It's different from people who do uh, daytime duties. Now, unfortunately, a lot of us, for the economy of the family, we have to really work at night. Uh, so, um, one of the things you could do is you take probiotics. You can put probiotics in your water uh, and then you can take prebiotics so that these probiotics will last longer. And the best probiotics are the non-dairy ones. I know maraming mahilig dito sa mga yogurt-based, uh, mas maganda yung non, uh, non-dairy uh, sa mga studies. So, just in case, do you like this uh, solution? Type me in the chat box, me in the chat box if you like. Okay. Next one is the use of refined sugar. Our ancestors didn't use refined sugar. Now, for some of you here, you might know that I did my uh, I did work in, in Africa. Uh, I volunteered in Africa for almost a year, and do on Africa, believe it or not, a lot the, the population there, majority of them, they didn't have toothbrushes, they didn't have toothpaste, and yet ang gaganda ng ipin nila. I was living at that time with a dentist. And the, the dentist from Switzerland, he would see the patient, he would tell me they have amazing teeth here, but they don't have toothbrush because they don't have refined sugar also in that place. So they don't have refined sugar uh, and refined sugar really messes up a lot of things in our, our system. Wala yan sa ancestors natin. So when you take more sugar, you have more disrupted sleep and it stimulates appetites and cravings. So I would suggest uh, it also increases inflammation. And it increases the cytokines that lead to insomnia. And it can hurt your gut. Yung mga bacteria sa chan mo, uh, particularly the, the, the microorganisms that like sugar are your uh, are your fungus, mga candida species. So if you if you take a lot of sugar, you're going to end up with more fungus in your stomach instead of uh, benefit your bacteria. So a lot of sugar is found in all our food. You go to the supermarket, Puro sugar yan. Lahat ng drinks, puro sugar. Lahat ng chichiria, puro sugar. So I suggest you look for sugar-free whole, uh, full foods and snack that are actually available also in the market. Uh, people do prepare this or you can prepare it yourself. No? You go for healthier, sugar-free and whole foods. No? So lastly, our, well, another one is our ancestors drank water from the spring or rivers or lakes. So when you talk about the water from the springs, uh, they're slightly alkaline. And they're very rich in minerals. Duman niya sa mga bato-bato and they're alkaline. So, ang problem natin ngayon, uh, yeah, when you take out the minerals, let's say we talk about magnesium. Magnesium has shown to be a big help in sleep. It helps in a lot of biochemical actions. Actually, there are a lot of other minerals. Fini-feature ko lang ngayon ng magnesium just to show you. No? Uh, ang problem natin, our purified water that you buy from your water purifying station, they use this thing called reverse osmosis. Reverse osmosis and reverse osmosis has no minerals. Uh, mag segue lang tayo na. Let me just uh, open up my. Uh, ano, I'll just open up my. Ano, my. Uh, let me open up my my Google Chrome. All right, dito tayo ah. Uh, Google Chrome ah. Uh, ready, everybody. Uh, like type ko. Uh, is reverse osmosis safe for drinking? Uh, magtanong tayo. Ano sagot? Uh, no, actually, it's not. According to the World Health Organization, low mineral drinking water produced by reverse osmosis or distillation is not suitable for long-term human consumption. Bakit? No, bakit? Because when you're taking a long-term consumption of this, has shown consistently in many studies out from the 1960s hanggang ngayon, consistently there is an increase of 33% increase in cardiovascular accidents. And there's an increase in hypertension and the depletion of minerals in the body of the person. So if you're worried about osteoporosis, and eh, mo eh, osteoporosis, you're gonna drink this, madideplete yung calcium mo, no? Uh, you're worried about hypertension, you drink this, madideplete yung mga calcium magnesium stores mo. So 
you know you to you should have water that is mineralized so ito din this is called al- empty alkalinization you have an alkalinizer like this kokoryentehin yung yung do- yung tubig magiging alkaline pero walang minerals pa ren walang minerals so th- this is all empty alkalinization yung mga studies that you see on alkaline water that is uh, supposed to be beneficial those are alkaline water na mineralized pag ganito it's not necessarily mineralized nawawala nga actually yung alkalinization nito eh after you drink it, it it turns back into your acidic water in the stomach if you want uh mineralized alkalinized alkalinized water you should mineralize the water and the alkalinization will come as a um, direct uh, natural process of the uh, alkalization uh, of mineralization because that's how the nature does it so nature the water flows through a stream that dahil sa mga bato-bato and the water becomes mineralized and the water becomes uh, uh, alkalinized also pag dumaan doon diba so mas maganda you can this is actually one of those this is a water alkalinizer mineralizer uh na may dispenser i'm using something similar to this at home uh yung sa akin walang kuryente walang hot and cold so may hot and cold eh. but this is a lot of offices use this so it's actually and it's cheaper ah. it's cheaper to use this than to buy purified water and uh also safer siya safer siya hindi masisira kamay niyo doon sa pagbubuhat ng pagbubuhat ng water no and then another way is you could add minerals to your water via mineralizer drops so you could get these and add them to your water mga 10 drops in the morning 10 drops at night i've had i had one student uh, one patient here sa parish namin sabi niya doc uh, ano daw ano bang maganda ka for sleep kasi ano siya she's 70 plus and then tulog manok at sabi niya tulog manok so sabi ko sa kanya i couldn't see her uh, pinadala ko na lang siya isa nito sabi ko try mo to and then nagtext back siya sa akin sabi ko gumanda yung tulog ko <laughs> after a few days you add minerals to your water gaganda tulog mo no and another one now is another solution that's coming up is hydrogenated water there are studies now that's appearing that hydrogenated water improves your uh, your hydration So I'm I'm collecting the studies from this now also and uh, there's a study here in some nursing home when they took uh, mga 60 plus so mga retired tama-tama yun yung mga nag-retire nag-invest kay uh, kay sir uh, uh, kay kay ma'am uh, kay ma'am Rachel no na nag-invest sa kanila so they can retire when they drank this gumanda yung mga parameters nila including sleep So the the drinking uh, hydrogen water is actually uh, could be valid. There are studies, and the best one is the one that's sealed in aluminum. Because if it's not sealed in aluminum, the hydrogen just escapes as soon as you open it. So there's also acupuncture. No acupuncture. Uh, I had one patient who did acupuncture. She was always having headaches, and she went to an acupuncturist. I think si Doctor Andrelina siguro yung pinutahan niya. Nag-improve. <laughs> Sabi ng doctor na wala headache ka. Doctor Andrelina, would you like to say more about acupuncture? Yes, I've been a acupuncturist, medical acupuncturist for the past 10 years. Pero kaya naman mo And very good. Yes. Thank you. You know, actually, another interesting thing here, Dr. Rosa, Dr. Rosa has a student who just passed the board exam. So congratulations to Manila Theological uh, College. You just have your first batch of students who graduated na pumasa ng, ng board yeah. exam. Anim sila, congratulations. And one yeah. of them is a certified acupuncturist. Kilala yes. niya, Dr. Rosa. Uh, Dr. Kilala. Cueto. Well, Cueto. Dr. Cueto. Uh, so he's a certified acupuncturist. And uh, he's yes. been, acu- even when he was in medical school, he was supporting himself through acupuncture. Yes. Yes. Uh, so it's very good, na um, acupuncture is uh, another one, and we have a very good acupuncturist here, si Dr. Andrelina. In case you're interested, you can uh, we'll, uh, I'll try. We could get you in, 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 connected to her. So here's my summary so far from my talk, no. Uh, if you want better sleep, you can reduce exposure to toxic chemicals. You can take vitamin D and melatonin at the right time. I mean, at the right time. If you take vitamin D at night and matutulog ka sa night, hindi ka makakatulog. You take vitamin D in the morning if you sleep at night. You take anti-blue, you can use anti-blue light, uh, set, uh, you can set your computer for anti-blue light and you use anti-blue light glasses. You could use blackout curtains and eye masks. You could sleep two hours. Uh, you should sleep at least two hours after eating. You could use prebiotics, probiotics to replenish your gut, gut bacteria, and you choose healthy, non-sugar-free. Uh, I mean, healthy, sugar-free, full, cool foods. You can add minerals or hydrogen to your water, and you can also uh, you can also book an acupuncture treatment from with Doctora Villaroya. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, now the other one is. 
uh, this is not actually the end because I have yung portion. Ko. Uh, no, but my portion is quite fast. I'm just going to ask you guys, who among you here experience snoring or clog nose when you wake up? Type me in the chat box. Me, 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 me. Kung meron, or kung may kilala kayo. Okay. We just, uh, yes, Dr. Flora, yes. Okay. Um, Andrelina says, my hobby. Paul says, me. Dr. Rasa says, me. Actually, speaker natin kanina, feeling ko nangyari sa kanya to. <laughs> but, but, but together, yeah. So, yeah, na, Dr. Rachel, yeah. Okay. What, have you ever wondered why that happens? Because when you sleep, your airways get smaller. And when more air gets pushed through these airways, it will make a sound. Parang turotot. Err, err, diba? Kasi yung turotot, the airway becomes smaller like that. And when you try to blow through a small airway, it will make noise. That's not what causes your snoring. Okay, do you experience sudden stopping to breathe while sleeping? Or, napansin nyo, yung sabi dito yung hobby nyo, no? So he's snoring, tapos biglang, yun, Dr. Adelina, biglang magsa-stop kuminga habang natutulog siya, no? Tayo hindi natin malaman, eh, tulog tayo. Pero yung kasama natin sa bahay, manamdaman nyo. O kaya, when you're half asleep, bigla ka napapasipa. Ganun, this is actually called hypnic jerking. Hyptic jerking. So, tamaramdaman niya to. Bigla ka napapasipa. Minsan nagigising. Minsan may sensation pa yan. Parang nahuhulog. Who experiences this? Type me. Me, 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 me. O kaya, suddenly wakes up after four hours of sleeping. May kilala ko kanina. Kausap ko ka meeting ko. We were meeting. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, bigla siya nagising ng three in the morning. Sabi ko, oh, it means natulog ka ng eleven ng gabi, no? Tapos kinumpute niya. Sabi niya, oh, how did you know? Kasi this is consistent. You will suddenly wake up for uh, four hours after you fall asleep. The problem here is that there's a chemical that regulates your sleeping. Naubos siya while you are asleep. Pag naubos siya, you will stop breathing because there's no more chemical to cause you to breathe. No, and that will wake you up. No, and that will also cause the, the kicking. Okay, who among you here suddenly wakes up with numb leg or arm? Bigla nagigising manhid yung isang kamay. O kaya nagka-cramps yung paa. Magtutulog ka, nakahiga ka bilang magka-cramps paa mo. What happens here is you lack the chemical that keeps your blood vessels wide and makes your blood muscles less acidic. So, pag kinulang ka ng chemical na to, liliit yung blood vessels mo. Pag lumiit yung blood vessels mo, kukulangin yung dugo sa kamay paa mo. Kaya ka biglang nagka-cramps or biglang magmamadid kamay mo. Yung iba nga, during the day, pagkagising, manhid parehong kamay. Iinom ng vitamin B, and then wala pa rin effect. Who experiences this? Type me. Me, me, me in the chat box. Thank you, Miss Evita. Uh, Evita, uh, Dr. Evita, Dr. Rosa. Thank you, no? Yes. Ronald says, I before I experienced that. Okay, who here wakes up with back pain? Back pain, headache, o kaya you feel you're tired, not rested. Type me. Me, 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 me in the chat box. Me in the chat box. Okay, would you like to know? What happens is during the time when you're asleep, you're using your shoulders and chest muscles, continuously moving yan. So pagod ka na pagod when you wake up, may back pain ka. Sometimes yung headache, yung headache nyan galing sa likod eh. Papunta dito sa ulos, it's throbbing. Uh -oh. And then who among you here wakes up with very dry mouth? Very dry mouth. Say me in the chat box if you experience this or you know someone who experiences this. Like me, 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 me. You know, I used to have this. Actually, all of this, I used to have it when I was a kid. Akala ko normal lang siya. Anyway, if you feel you wake up with a dry mouth, it means you were breathing through your mouth all night. Okay, kaya minsan basa yung pillow nyo sa my lip. Kasi your mouth was open and naglalaway ka garan, no? So, uh, lastly, lastly, who among you here wakes up with GERD, hyperacidity? Okay, kaya retching, yung nasusuka sa umaga. Sometimes after breakfast, after uminom ng kape, nasusuka. O kaya nagkakaleg trans pagkagising. Yan. Says not me, Dr. Rosa says me, yes. So what happens here is the chemical that regulates your body's acidity gets depleted. So pag na-deplete yung acidity ng yung chemical that uh, na regulate ng acidity ng katawan mo, your body will produce more acid in your stomach and in your muscles para, para to compensate. So you will become hyperacidic. So this is one reason why many of our patients or uh, many of your friends uh, or many of you pa nga are taking medicines for hyperacidity tapos pabalik-balik lang or in grade pabalik-balik because the one that regulates the body's acidity got depleted. It's not really a problem to sum up. So, I'll do a summary. You, how long you here, no? You, so many of you have said yes to you lack the chemical that keeps your blood vessels wide and awake and make, keeps your bodies less acidic. Uh, always gets, uh, your airways get smaller during sleep. There's too much air pushed through your small airways. The chemical that regulates breathing gets depleted while you sleep. You were using your shoulder and chest muscles while sleeping. You were breathing through your mouth all night and one of the chemicals that regulates your body's acidity is depleted. So these are the problems that you may be experiencing. Maybe not all of them. Um, some of them, most of them, or maybe some all of them, pero hindi mo lang na-realize. No? So if you want to correct your problems, we have to correct them from the root cause. 
from the root. And the pinaka pinaka important of all the root causes is your breathing. You know, if you stop eating, you won't be able to uh, you can stop eating for a month, hindi ka mamamatay. You can stop drinking water for about two weeks, hindi ka mamamatay. But yung breathing, if you stop breathing, you die in just three minutes, five minutes, patay ka na. Diba? So that's how important breathing is. Now, we're going to do our first activity here. So I want to ask you guys to please turn on your web camera and we'll do an activity. I'll do an activity. Uh, who wants to participate in this fun activity? Yes, please turn on your web, web cameras but we can see your beautiful uh, faces online. Yes, yes. Please, please turn on your web cameras. Okay, Mahia, we'll do our first. Thank you, Gilda. Thank you, Rachel. Um, yes. By the way, Rachel is the bank manager of China Bank. Um, uh, China Bank and anong branch? Mapua. So if you guys want to have an investment with China Bank, you can uh, you can go to her. Alin ba yung China Bank? Sila yung nagpautang kay Gokong Wei when he was uh, he had no money. China Bank ang nagpautang sa kanila and yeah. Uh, so maswerte kayo kay Rachel pag sa kanya kayo nagtake ng loan. Okay, uh, so if you guys are ready, yun ito. I want you guys to take deep breaths. All right. Uh, yun ito. Uh, take a deep breath. Uh, tuloy tuloy. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Non-stop. Tuloy tuloy. Ayan, hinga, hinga. Ayan, naihihi pa naman ako. Hala, sana nakihihi ka na. Umihihi ka na muna. Hindi umihihi ka na. Ayan, okay. Sino sa inyong napapagod? Napapagod. Raise your hand, raise your hand. Napapagod. Okay, uh, Jose. Okay. Sino nakapansin na parang hina, hinihinga, hinihingal? Hinihingal. Raise your hand. Hinihingal. Okay, naihilo. Raise your hand. Okay, uh. now for people like uh, Dr. Adelina, maybe we have to do it longer. Because it's a clinic, we can push as much as two minutes. Eh. But uh, here, I stop it from early because I don't want anyone to get into trouble. So let's ask Dr. Jose Labrador. Dr. Jose is from uh, Santa Ana Hospital, tama ba? And uh, uh, Infant Jesus? Sa ka Clinic, ano? Transnational Medical Diagnostic Center. Ayan, okay. So alam niya where you can go to see Dr. Jose. Uh, especially if you need your medical uh, to check out. Okay, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, Jose, uh, I'll ask you, when you did your deep breathing, anong naramdaman mo? Hiningal? Napagod? Wait, 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 naging alert. Naging alert ng konti. Tapos yun, hiningal, eventually. Uh, hiningal, di ba? Parang hinihingal ka. Okay, Jose, pag umakit ka ba ng hagdan, hinihingal ka rin? Pag let's say mat- malayo? Di ba? Pag malayo. Oh, di ba? Hinihingal ka. Oh, ganyan. ganyan din yung hingal, di ba? Okay. Pinaakad ba kita ng hagdan ngayon? Hindi. Hindi. Okay. Anong pinagawa ko sa'yo? Hindi nga malalim. Okay. So, I just wanted to show you, Jose, na walang kinalaman yung hingal mo dun sa hagdan. Walang pinalaman. Dr. Rosa, ikaw, what did you, Dr. Rosa, what did you feel when you did your deep breathing? Parang napagod. <laughs> napagod, napagod. Oh. Yeah. Ikaw ba, when you do your uh, deep breathing, uh, when you go up the stairs, ganyan din naran naman mo, napapagod ka. Yes, di ba? But I didn't ask you to go up the stairs. Pero napagod ka the same way as you go up the stairs. Okay, I will explain to everybody here uh, why this happens. Okay, sabihin natin may hagdan sa harapan ko. Ganyan ito huminga si Doktora Rosa pag umakit yung hagdan. Ah. Ah. Tama ba ako? Tama ba? Di ba? Yes. Yung nagpapapagod sa'yo when you go up the stairs is not yung pag-akyat. It's the breathing. Kasi huminga ka ng malalim when you go up the stairs. And that's exactly what I showed you today. I had you do deep breathing and napagod ka. I didn't even ask you to go up the stairs. Oh, that's what happened to Dr. Jose. Nahingal siya just like when he goes up the stairs na malayo but I didn't ask him to go up the stairs. All I asked you guys was to do deep breathing. Kaya yung pag sinasabi natin sa mga patients natin, oh, you take deep breathing. You take deep breathing. Pag stress ka ganyan, mali po yun. Mas lalo silang mapapagod. Mas lalo silang hihingalin. Kasi that's what I just demonstrated to you guys right now. Pag na, when you do deep breathing, hihingalin kayo, mapapagod kayo. Is that clear? Is that clear? No? So there's something lang na something we should we should. Uh, I think we I I uh, this this uh, tell the people no, don't tell our patients to do deep breathing. Because mas lalo sila mapapagod. If you have asthma, it will trigger their asthma. If they have uh, allergies, it will trigger the allergy. If they have stress, at first, para they will feel better, but longer term they will feel much worse. No, so the breathing also affects your posture. Let me take a look at this. Okay, let's turn on again your cameras. Uh, anybody could please turn on your cameras. Everybody, let's take a look at it. 
Okay, please turn on your cameras. I want you guys to put your your uh, your hand on your chest. Okay, Dr. Andrelina, Dr. Jose, and uh, Dr. Rosa. Okay, uh, and Gilda. Yeah. Okay, and I want you to take a deep breath and think the new chest. You know how it's going to make a uh, move. How it's going to move. Are you ready? One, two, take two, two, three. Take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Yeah. Dr. Rosa, did you notice when you took a deep breath, gumalo yung chest mo, lumaki yes. Yes. Right? yes. Okay. Look at my chest, ah. Look at my chest. Atras ako para kita niya. Ready? One, two, three. Gumaglaw ba yung chest ko? I'll take a deep breath again. One, two, three. Gumaglaw? Hindi. Oh, oh. So, kasi, if you're using your chest for breathing, ang mangyari dito, these are skeletal muscles. Mapapagod yan. So, you'll have chest pain. So, marami tayong patients na may costochondritis, nagchichest pain, nagpapalpitate. It's because they keep using this for breathing. Yun nga eh. We tell them, oh, you're stressed. You take a deep breath. Yan, yeah, mangyari, chest pain. Mangyari yan, mapapagod. Ano <laughs> yan? Palpitation. Yung mga may panic attacks, parating dito, chest pain, parating sila. What else will happen? Your muscles here will get stronger and shorter. When it gets stronger and shorter, it will pull your back this way, tapos aabante yung ulo mong ganyan. Pag umabante yung ulo mong ganyan, your, your neck will be at a disadvantage uh, position, naka-forward, mga ngawit. Pag nangawit yan, sasakit yung ulo mo galing dito papunta dito. Tapos kumikirot yan. Sino dito sa sa, sa class, sa group na to, can they experience this, this? Or know somebody who experiences this? Pag napapagod, sumasakit yung ulo galing dito papunta dito, kumikirot. Please type yes in the chat box. Yes in the chat box. If, who among you here experiences this? No? So, who ba nagiging yan yan? No? And this is the reason. A lot of people paulit-ulit to, everyday na lang, ganyan. And that's because You're breathing through your chest, and your chest will pull your body forward like this. Yes, thank you, Rasha. Thank you, Rasa. So, the next one is if your body is pulled forward, your, your neck is pulled forward like this. Your body, your body will become heavier on the front. So your body will become will lose balance. So to be able to balance itself, yeah, abante niya chan mong ganito. And pag inabante niya chan mo, you'll have this S-shaped curve. And it'll cause you back pain naman, low back pain. Pag let's say nag-zoom meeting, you'll get low back pain. Sino dito nagkakaroon ng low back pain during Zoom? Type me in the chat box. Me in the chat box. If you know anybody like that, type me. If you know anybody who keeps complaining of low back pain when they have Zoom. Ngayon, if you portray this with sleeping, good on them. You're always breathing with your chest, so you wake up with back pain. Lahat yan. Pwedeng upper back or pwedeng lahat. Because you're using your chest and shoulder muscles throughout the night when you were asleep. So now we're going to go back. So you have you what you need is you need your chemical, no? You need that chemical that will help deliver oxygen to your body cells. You need that chemical that will vasodilate, open up your blood vessels. You need to have more of that chemical that is a major acid in your body, para you can stop the acidity of your stomach. You need that chemical that will open up your airways and make you breathe uh, clearer. Uh, easier and you need more of that chemical that will regulate your breathing diba right? if we increase this chemical you will potentially solve your problems yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina yung mga yes yes niya tama ba who agrees with me type agree agree in the chat box agree who agrees with me uh, anybody in the in the in the audience uh si miss marie si sir jun and uh, who agrees yes thank you uh, gilda thank you dr Thank you, Jose. You agree. All right. So, does anyone want to guess ano yung chemical na to that does all of these five things? Type it in the chat box. Anong chemical, what you think, what chemical does this? Type it in the chat box. Let's see. Hydrogen. Neil says hydrogen. Uh, well, not quite, but hydrogen, Jose said it right. It's carbon dioxide. So, sa physiology books namin, it's carbon dioxide. So, what we happened here, one of the reasons why we're having so many of these problems now is because Tinabi sa atin na, uy, masama ang carbon dioxide sa, lab, sa katawan, dapat linalabas yan. Well, in fact, carbon dioxide has so much uh, benefits to the body. Ang carbon dioxide is not poisonous. Carbon monoxide is poisonous. Ulitin ko, carbon monoxide that comes out of the car. Ang carbon dioxide, hindi. Kaya even if you go to an environment, mataas yung carbon dioxide, you're not going to die. In fact, there are now studies that are shown that when they give people higher doses of carbon dioxide, gumaganda yung performance nila, mawaba mo yung blood pressure and all. So there are studies now doing that. No? So carbon dioxide is what you need to improve. How do you improve? How do you increase carbon dioxide in your body? Who wants to know how to increase carbon dioxide in the body? Type me in the chat box. Me, 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 me. Because if you can increase carbon dioxide, you can solve a lot of your problems. Thank you, Dr. Andelina. Dr. Jose, yes. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. 
So I had a patient from Florida. He was always having daytime dis- uh, sleepiness, and then he uh, he he took up. Uh, I taught him how to increase the carbon dioxide. Na wala yung daytime sleepiness niya. Gumanda yung tulog niya. Uh, naging okay siya. So I'm excited for all of you because you can all experience this. Our way is let's uh, let's take a look at money. Um, let's see. Sino magaling sa money dito? Si uh, si Rachel. Rachel is a bank manager. Di ko alam si tatawag ko yung treasurer or yung bank manager. Yung bank manager na lang. Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Okay. Uh, do you agree with me? Uh, Rachel, do you agree with me? Now this is the formula for money. It's the amount that you earn or you produce minus the amount that you spend. That's the money. That's the amount of money that you have, diba? Right? Yes, sir. Yes, of course. If you invest in uh, in the mutual funds near Rachel, you will potentially improve yes, the production. The production tayo tadami, diba? Right? Okay. So if you want to have more money, Rachel, ano kailangan mong gawin? Dito based on this formula, <laughs> you have to increase um, your production. You you increase your production and then you spend less. Yes, exactly. Tama po. Ang carbon dioxide is just exactly the same. It's the amount that you produce divided by the amount that you spend. Okay, the amount of produce divided by the amount that you spend. So how do you produce more? So how do you produce more? So you exercise. When you exercise, all your muscles are working and your muscles produce more carbon dioxide. Kaya we tell people, oh, you have hypertension, dapat mag-exercise ka. Kasi you will produce that gas that will vasodilate and bring down carbon, uh, bring down blood pressure. Oh, you have diabetes, you should exercise. Kasi we will we will produce that gas, uh, we will produce more carbon dioxide that facilitates uh, oxygen entry into the cells and make your pancreas work better. No, lahat ng practically all of the benefits of exercise is from the increase of carbon dioxide. All right. Ngayon, uh, where do, how about spending? Spending is when you breathe. Remember, when we exhale, we remove carbon dioxide. When we breathe, we remove carbon dioxide. So this is the problem, kanina. Doc, umaakit ako ng hagdan, kinakapos ako ng hininga. Eh, di ba dapat sabi niyo, Doc, exercise, exercise. Bakit ganun? Pag nag-exercise ako, nahihilo ako, mas masama pakiramdam ko. Kasi ganito nangyayari. You might be exercising. So you're going up the stairs. But at the same time, you're also breathing heavily. And there's a possibility that you could be losing more carbon dioxide with, with the breathing rather than, with your, than what you're earning. So the, who, who experiences these symptoms when you go up the stairs? This is what happens to you. What happens when you're asleep? Asleep, pinakamalala. When you go to sleep, your breathing automatically becomes heavier. That's why people snore. No? Because they become heavier. And every hour from the time they sleep, it becomes heavier and heavier. Magpipik yan on the fourth hour. That's why people wake up on the fourth hour. And that's why uh, this is what happens. Wala namang exercise during sleep. So the carbon dioxide goes down. So that's why the worst symptoms we have is during sleep. Manami mga naga high blood during sleep. Bakit ganon? Wala ng stress because of this mechanism. So is this very clear to everybody? This is what happens to you when you sleep. What I propose to you guys, if you want better sleep, you have to learn how to regulate your breathing during the day before you sleep, and how to prevent yung pagtaas ng breathing, yung how to prevent yung hyperventilation when you sleep. So that's. Uh, that's what I do. I'm Dr. Charles Edward Florendo. Uh, when I was seven years old, I was greatly uh, I I had the uh, I had asthma, and uh, I woke up one time in that ICU. I nearly died, uh, and then I mastered the use because of uh, I had all the symptoms: allergies, asthma, yung mga sleep disorders. I would wake up with back pain, biglaw na gising early morning, had hyperacidity. I had everything that I described to you guys, plus asthma, plus allergies. And I mastered the use of medicines. I would take my uh, anti-hypertensive. Uh, I would take my anti uh, anti uh, antacids uh, before meals. I would take the uh, H2 blocker, the ranitidin before I sleep, para walang acidity. I take my asthma medicines. I was very good at it. However, uh, pabalik balik lang yung problem. And my sleep, di naman, I didn't consider my sleep to have problem because nakatulog ako. Pero yon, I would wake up occasionally, manhid yung kamay ko, uh, no ganyan. Anyway. Uh, one time, there was a guy who would come over to the Philippines. This is Jack Vigen. He was the first teacher of the Buteco method in the Philippines. And I, uh, I enrolled with him to learn how to do Buteco method. And when I took a Buteco method, gumanda yung tulog ko. Nawala yung mga symptoms. I, uh, I would wake up, hindi na dry yung mouth ko, wala yung hyper acidity ko. Hindi na ako nagigising early morning. And my sleep became really deep. As in, it's hard to describe it. Eh? Kasi ngayon, people say, wala akong problem. But once the experience the sleep from the method they will learn 
ang ganda pala ng tulog. It's so much deeper. So when I graduated from UST in 2005, I volunteered to work in a hospital in Africa where I treated a lot of patients there without medicine. And gumanda yung tulog nila, gumanda yung asthma. Yung isang patient ko nito, he was complaining, he, he would feel this electricity while he would uh, was asleep or he would wake up. Yun. I taught him this, no wala yung symptom na yun. Yan. So when I graduate, uh, when I finished from uh, Africa, I decided to pursue teaching the Biteco method because it was very beautiful. I've been writing books about it, and I was asked to become the medical advisor of the largest uh, authority of the Biteco method in outside Russia, the Biteco Clinics International. So I've been teaching Biteco method in different countries, but because of the pandemic, I now teach it online, which is even better because I'm able to reach people in different countries like China, Canada. United States, South Africa, Mexico, without them having to travel anymore. That is, you know, problem. I hope I travel. Eh. Ngayon hindi na. So, before we go, whether or not uh, you take up Biteco method or not, I'm gonna ask you guys who among you here would like to have some tips on your breathing. Dr. Adelina, yes. Who says that? Me in the chat box. If you'd like to have some tips on your breathing, I'll teach you some tips to improve your breathing. Type me, me. Thank you, Neil. Sino pa? Sino pa? Who else would like? Who else would like? Oh, by the way, you guys. Uh, stay tuned, ah. May, mamaya mayroon akong regalo sa inyong lahat for attending. Okay, first of all, you should keep your mouth closed. Okay, if your mouth is open, you will be breathing harder. No, So you should keep your mouth closed all the time. No, So uh, dito sa Zoom, uh, Zoom natin, nakita ko kung sino open yung mouth during, no, naka-open yung video and sino yung open na mouth. You don't need to keep it open. You close it lang para you'll be breathing in and out of your nose. Ngayon, If you have a problem that your nose is frequently clogged, madalas kayo sinisipon, I will teach you how to unclog it without medicine using the techniques we have in the Biteco method. Uh, if your mouth frequently opens when you're asleep, I will teach you how to keep it closed when you're asleep. There's a way to do it and there's exercises to do that before you sleep para hindi nagahabol na katawan nyo ng hinga uh, before, when you go to sleep. So if you notice yung mga newborn babies, the normal newborn babies, their mouth is always closed and they're always breathing through the nose. So we were all meant to breathe that way. No. Now, the other one is you should keep your back straight. No? So, a while ago, we told you when you do breathing, uh, when you're breathing through your chest, your, it will cause you to have bad posture. And balik tad then. No? I mean, the, other, uh, the, uh, the opposite reaction also works. Now, if you have bad posture, your breathing will become bad. So, you try your best to keep your posture straight. So, I teach people uh, ano yung mga gagawin nila to keep their posture straight. And then, when we teach them how to correct the breathing, the muscles of the breathing, you can stay straight longer. Mas komportable na. And of course, I do teach the exact the exercises, how it's done and all, in my breathing workshops. No? So, parang yung swimming. No? You can't just teach, learn swimming from a book. From watching videos, you have to have a good teacher. You have to have a good environment. You have to have a committed program para matutulmo how to how to swim properly. Go on your breathing. I will be the one. I will do my best. I will give you a good uh, program, and I'll coach you, and I'll teach you well para you learn it. My program is currently called the Breathing Camp or the Comprehensive Asthma Management Program. I'm currently making another program called the Rest, the Really Effective Sleep Therapy Pro Workshop. So, uh, abangan niyo yung program niyo. Yun naman, mas extensive yun for breathing, uh, for sleep. But dito sa Breathing Camp pa lang, ang dami ko nang natulungan. No? It's uh, composed of three sessions, my workbook, my one-month coaching, and you can, after you enroll, you can re-attend monthly practice sessions for free. So, unlike if you go to yoga or Zumba, kailangan ko magbayad every time you take it up. Ito hindi. It's free. You just keep taking it up every month. Basta nag-enroll ka na, tasado, tapos mo na yung program, you can keep retaking it for free every month. Who likes that kind of uh, scenario? Type me in the chat box if you like it. Right? Yes. Yes in the chat box. Yes na lang. Yes, yes, yes in the chat box if you like it na free na kayo re-attending every month. No? So, yes. So, I'd like to show you some of my students who took this up. This is uh, Tin. Uh, she says, You're like practicing mindful breathing. It helped me with my anxiety too when I had COVID last year. By the way, yung mga may long COVID, uh, tsaka may COVID, I'm able to reverse long COVID using this technique. Uh, if you have allergies, insomnia, hypersensitivity, sleep problems, back pain, and others, try the Bideco method under Dr. Charles Edward Ferrando. Kasi she, she suffered from this. No, wala. Now, this one is from Olive. Uh, she says, I have less issues with heartburn. My sleep was better. And according to my husband, I no longer snore at night. Dr. Charles was very accommodating and very generous with his time in answering issues and even concerns and concerns even beyond class hours. Thank you, Dr. Charles. More power to you. No more snoring. Who wants to stop snoring? Type yes in the chat box. Yes, if you want to stop snoring. 
Yeah. So this was uh, one of my early students. Uh, he was one of my classmates, and he said, "I, I do the book. Almost na tapinya. Hi, Charles. Sorry, was in a meeting. So far, so good. I've been sleeping well the past two days. To be honest, at first, I didn't really believe that it, I can see the results right away. Now I'm a believer. Bakit? Because on the first night, gumandain tulog niya. Naramdam niya improvement on the first night. He didn't have to wait for two weeks or one month to see the results." First night pa lang. So my program is the Beating Camp Workshop. If you'd like to take this up, I'll give you, mommy, I'll, I'll show you how to get up. But before that, I'm going to give you guys a special gift. Who wants to have a special gift? Type yes in the chat box. Special gift. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'll give you guys a special gift. Rachel, you want to have a special gift? Si Vice President, do you want to have a special gift? You let him know. Uh, I'll give him a special gift. Okay. So I'll be giving you uh, a special gift today. Uh, I'll be giving you a special. Um, meron tayong, uh, I prepared a special questionnaire. No, it's 91 questions. You answer this questionnaire, the 91 questions, and if you uh, based on this questionnaire, uh, this is based on a lot of studies done worldwide already. I will be able to provide you with a personalized results like this to tell you how much vitamins you need. Imagine, oh, some of my patients they come to me, doc. I'm not telling doc. Tama ba yung vitamins ko yun? Doc, okay ba tong vitamins at doc? Ito ba yun namin ko? Eh, wala nang hulaan. I'll give you a nutrient analysis na, di ba? So do you know how much? This is a malaking charge nito sa mga wellness centers, ah. This they charge lang as much as six thousand for this. And I'm giving this to you guys free. Plus, I will provide you guys a free consult with a licensed nutritionist sa team ko. So I'll give you guys a free consult with a licensed nutritionist, but she can help you get these nutrients. Who would like this? Type me in the chat box. Me, 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 me. If you'd like this free gift, uh, yeah. So hindi pa ako nagturo sa inyo, hindi pa kayo nag-enroll. My free gift na kayo, de ba? And you already have tips for your breathing. My free gift na kayo. So kaya to. If you'd like any of the solutions we talked about today, please scan this right now. Put out your phone, lagay nyo sa QR scanner, scan nyo, or itype nyo to sa Google Chrome. Yan, uh, itype nyo rin dito, tinyurl.com slash 4zuv9870. Yan. Ayan na. So, yung tiny URL na yan, kopyahin nyo, or iscan nyo na ngayon, or screenshot nyo na ngayon. Okay, and then if you want the free consultation, so nandiyan, i-check nyo dito, alin sa mga nagustuhan nyo or would you like to learn more about. No? And I will send you information about these items na you said yes about para, kasi bitin talaga ang lecture. Kahit na you one hour natin, bitin na bitin yan. No? So you click here what it is that you'd like to know about and I will send you more information about that and I can link you to people who are experts in these particular fields. And then if you like the free nutrient assessment, yung nasa dulo, free nutritional assessment plus consult, i-click nyo yung yes chat. Alright? And then uh, I'll, uh, I'll be getting back to you. So I'll give me a few days. Uh, I'll wait for you guys to fill this up. So guru, three or four days and I'll, I'll do a collation. I'll do your nutrient analysis and I'll, uh, I'll send you guys the results. And a, I'll set you guys up for a free nutritional uh, consult. All right. So this is, I'm Dr. Charles uh, Edward Sorendo. How to sleep like a baby, a solution-based discussion. Thank you so much for attending. I'll leave you guys with this as our final uh, field. Lahat na ready na? Ready na? I can turn this uh, this one off already. So um, so yeah. So I'm going to be giving you back to our moderator, si Dr. Andelina Villaroya. Doctora, please. Uh, yes. Thank you so much for that uh, very good uh, talk. It's not only about uh, sleeping, but also our whole uh, wellness. Um, what can I say? Thank you in advance. Doc Charles for that very good gift. So I think we we are running out of time. Well, we still have five minutes, but does anyone have any questions? Any questions yes. or any concerns? Uh, Doctor Jose says excited. Oh, Shepherd, nandito si Doctor Rosa. When she's born. I have board. a question. Yes, Doctor. Oh, yes. When are you going to teach us? How to wait to lose weight without exercise. <laughs> ah, yes. That yes. one, you, you can take up the workshop, Doctora. 
yes. Um, you can take up the workshop. Uh, actually, I uh, no. You can take up the workshop. Let me know para we can schedule it. Pero right now I'll be concentrating on my upcoming new baby. How to sleep like a baby. Uh, ah. How to sleep like a baby workshop. <laughs> yung ano ka, yung rest workshop ko. So abangan niyo yun. It's very. I'm very excited for this workshop. Uh, I'm going to be yana. It's going to be a powerful workshop featuring works from uh, Dr. Matthew Bruce. Uh, Dr. Buteco, uh, uh, I'm going to be featuring their work in this workshop and it's going to be a very beautiful workshop. Can you do it as a webinar here? Or, uh, or well, cannot? No, I, it's, it's going to be a full as workshop. A workshop. As a workshop, there are a lot of people who workshop. Pa. Okay. But yes, I do teach the breathing camp ko through online. Online, as you can see, even if the breathing camp workshop is not specifically targeted for for sleep, and daming gumanda yung tulog na wala yung snoring. So what more if I have a program targeted for sleep? Mas maganda pa yan. So I'm going to build one. Uh, I'm building one right now, and uh, I'll make it available by June. I'm very excited. Any more questions, pa? There were two uh, previous questions. Yes, yes. It's about the anti blue from Doc Joey. Anti yeah. blue daw, nakakasira daw ng mata. Is it true? Yung blue light? Yeah. Uh, well, unfortunately, yung mga friends natin sa Opta, uh, alam ko hindi pa nag... Uh, yung Philippine Ophthalmological Society, they have disagreed na it can destroy the eyes. Uh, there are uh, some research though that supports that the blue light coming from the LEDs, itong mga LEDs, they can destroy the macula doon sa mata and can lead to increased macular degeneration. So you ma- for our audience na hindi doctor, kung meron kayo kilala na pag tumitingin sa'yo, pa-side, they cannot look at you directly, parati silang pa-side na ganyan tumingin. That's because yung gitna ng mata nila malabo, they, they see clearly on the side, but hindi sa gitna. And this is what you call macular degeneration. And uh, right now, there's a lot of research supporting na baka yung LED lights is the one that's causing it. That's, I mean, nag increase ng incidence ng LED lights. Kasi iba yung light ng LED, it's not natural. I know it saves a lot of electricity, very bright, but it's not natural. Okay. So, so there's... Uh, uh-huh. So blue light is LED light? Uh, no, blue light uh, is actually parang whitish light. Uh, naturally, meron yan sa sunlight. The thing is, naturally, wala nang sunlight at night. Uh, pero yung itong kasi itong LED natin is white. But yes, you're right. Yung white light po. Yung red light, siya yung pinaka-counting blue. Pinang wala. Yung yellow, mas less naman yung white light na, uh, blue light ng yellow. But if you write talaga yung wala talagang blue light, you go for red. So yung iba, they even use red bulbs in their bedrooms. Parang red light district, no? Red bulbs. But yes, that's the concept. You put red bulbs, mas madali kang makatulog. So, uh, there's another question from uh, Dr. Paul Garcia. Hindi daw siya functional pag walang caffeine. What do yes. you about this? So, this one is uh, a problem that you become uh, caffeine dependent already. You become the caffeine dependent. So, if you do, if you want to reduce your caffeine, we do have uh, a protocol that we could use to help you uh, remove your your uh, your dependence on caffeine. Because uh-huh. I actually have a brother like that also. That talagang pag hindi siya nag three or four cups of coffee na yung siya. So this is this is a problem. Because again, eh, when you when you take in uh, glucose, glucose will produce. Uh, yung one of the byproducts of the metabolism of glucose is adenosine. Adenosine. Tapos yung caffeine blocks out this adenosine. Yung pumapalit dun sa receptor sites, instead of the adenosine going to your cells, it's the caffeine. And that's the one triggering it. Sometimes, parang hindi na sa sobrang parating yung caffeine already intercepting din yan, hindi na masyadong maganda yung, hindi na, ano yan, yun na yung dependent yung body mo. Yung pag-interact ng caffeine dun sa mga cells mo, rather than adenosine. So you cannot just simply stop coffee. You have to have a program now. We will, we will bring it down slowly and then we have to raise that adenosine uh, naturally. Para hindi hindi yung biglang stop. So there is a way to do it. That we're going to gradually reduce uh, coffee and then we have to find a way to increase that adenosine uh, okay. under that. Uh, Last question na lang po. Uh, how about ha- alcohol? Is alcohol. Is it really for sleeping or not? Okay, I have a separate lecture for alcohol. Uh, kabibigay ko lang kahapon by the way uh, ang alcohol uh, will it's actually known as the number one sleep aid in the world kasi it will get you to sleep but it will give you poor quality sleep kaya manami nagigising na may ano may 
uh, may hangover. So if you will be drinking, pumapangit yung tulog. So you end up sometimes, because you get sleep at poor quality, you end up wanting to have more sleep, so you end up taking in more alcohol, padami na padami. And that's why you have this, uh, it can get addicting also. Uh, our sleeping pills, the benzodiazepine type, they actually have the same function as alcohol, yung, yung mechanism niya. So, ganun din, ma- mababaw yung tulog nila when they take this. So, if you want to drink alcohol, uh, there is a formula. You drink uh, one is to one, uh, one alcohol is to one water. Uh, may formula yan kung ano yung computation ng one glass of alcohol, uh, how many ounces, anong klase. And then, so you should drink equal amounts of alcohol with equal amount of water. Uh, mm-hmm. And then, Uh, you wait for ano, you wait for the number of hours na kung ilang baso ininom mo ng alcohol yun yung ilang hours mong hihintayin before you sleep so bin natin nakainom ako tatlong tatlong baso ng alcohol uh, tatlong bote ng beer 350 that's, that's considered one drink no one drink so i should drink at least three glasses of water and then i should wait three hours before going to sleep and then oh, yung kapag oh, high, oh. high drinks like yung mga gin yung baso nila is yung shot glass Yan. Pag beer, it's yung 350 ml, yung isang baso, is worth. And then pag, uh, pag malt liquor, it's about 8% alcohol, it's yung 250 uh, uh, ml na, na, na bottle. That's more or less yung one, one, worth one glass of water. Pag wine, it's the one wine glass. It's worth one glass of water. Yan. So ganun, you drink uh, one glass of water for every one of these that you drink. And then you wait the number of hours from the time you drink alcohol to the time you sleep. Para your sleep to become... Uh, undisturbed by alcohol. Ngayon, if you go to sleep earlier than that, you will get to sleep, pero poor quality sleep mo. Hindi siya, you're not going to reach yung uh, level 5, level 5 uh, level sleep yung, yung REM type. Mababaw lang, nasa level 1 ka lang. Okay. So, thank you so much, Dr. Charles. Thank you so much. So, thank we're all so here from you. Don't forget yung, ano, yung QR code ko, you fill it up. Uh, and then also, uh, I'd like to invite you all to uh, to meet up with Miss Rachel from uh, China Bank, also our sponsor for tonight. Thank you, Miss Rachel. Thank you. Thank you so Rachel. much. Uh, thank and you for your beautiful lecture, also. And uh, yes. thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, no. yeah. So we'll be closing the night, uh, Doctora. How do you close it? You you close it na. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So thank you, everybody, and uh, we'll be closing our uh, our. Uh, let's take a picture, by the way. Can I? Uh, is it possible? Can you all turn yes. on your cameras and let's take Uh-oh. a picture for those of you. Take turn on your cameras and take Ay, a picture. Yeah. All right. So ready. Smile. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you, okay. so Thank you so much. Thank you so uh, much. Uh, 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 Thank you so much, Dr. Very, very fruitful encounter. Learned a lot. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Ingat Thank you. Out. Have a nice uh, sleep Uh-oh. well tonight. Sleep well, well like a baby. Yes. We'll do, we'll do another webinar. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you so Thank much, you everyone, yes. for your support. Thank you very much, Dr. Thank Charles, Dr. Andrevina, and everyone else. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.